All right. So quick update. Uh, we have Cooper Cup. He is going to be active this Sunday. Uh, before we get into it, be sure to like, subscribe and comment. And let's dive in. So Cooper Cup is ready to go this Sunday. And I did predict earlier in the week, I did say I had a good feeling he was going to play. Uh, looked like the Rams really dodged a bullet there. Um, that could have been a lot worse. A low ankle sprain. I might have held him out if I was Sean McVay, but I do understand why him have him there. Um, you know, the last time we saw he and Kyron Williams, who we're also going to see this time around, both, uh, you know, combined to go over 300 total yards of offense against this Arizona Cardinals team. When you look at Kyron Williams, um, this is a huge game for him coming back. You know, he, he left off like, does he pick up where he left off? It's very unlikely coming off that injury to come just right out of the gate and be able to play at that level. But he had 158 yards rushing on 20 carries. This is not a great Cardinals run game, uh, run defense. Excuse me. When you look at it, I mean, I, I thought you saw a lot of good things out of Devin Singletary, but Devin Singletary doesn't go over a hundred yards normally. So um, this Cardinals team is averaging over 130 yards a game given up on the ground while their pass defense has gotten a lot better, especially Buda Baker's now back. Um, their run defense is still bad. And this is an opportunity for the Rams to take advantage of that. Um, I would, I would still expect to see plenty of Royce Freeman as well. Um, you, you can ease Kyron Williams back into it a little bit more than Sean McVay is saying they're going to do. Um, cause I don't buy that. They're not going to, I think we'll see both backs. It doesn't look like we'll see Daryl Henderson. It didn't look like he was activated. Um, you know, today is Saturday, so it doesn't look like he's activated to come off the practice squad. So it's going to be Kyron Williams. It's going to be Royce Freeman. And most likely it's going to be Zach Evans, uh, you know, as the third guy. So we'll see what ends up happening. Um, as far as Cooper cup though, you know, he needs this. He's had four straight games. It's the worst four game stretch of his career, uh, barely over a hundred yards on nine catches over the last four weeks. Um, he's got to improve that. And keep in mind, he came right out of the gate after the injury, uh, the calf injury and, and the hamstring. He came right out of the gate and had two straight hundred yard games. His best game, however, was over 140 yards on seven grabs and a touchdown against this Cardinals defense. So um, I think this is a huge opportunity for the Rams to kind of, you know, kickstart or, or, you know, maybe just a little bit of a, you know, an EMP, I guess. Uh, to the offense, because here, here's what I'll say right now. They need a jolt. They really do. Um, they are not going to be able to, you know, win the next five, six games and get into the playoffs. If they don't have Cooper cup playing at Cooper cup levels, they're not going to be able to do that. If they don't have Kyron Williams playing at Kyron Williams potential. So when we picked where, where we last left off, Kyron Williams was the top six running back in the league. When he got hurt, by the way, played the whole game. So, it was really tough to see him just gone like that. But Kyron Williams, top six running back, Cooper Cup, back to back, that was a hundred yard games. Right after this Cardinals game, everything went downhill for the Rams. They only won one game. We just saw that last week. So how do you build up on that? Well, the Rams have yet to win back to back games this year. They need to desperately put together a win streak, and it starts this Sunday. So we can expect to see Cooper Cup. We can expect to see Kyra Williams. Both are going to start. Hopefully, we see a lot of Puka Nakua and Tutu Atwell. We see a more improved and just turned around Tyler Higby than we've seen in weeks past. And furthermore, <clears throat> I also want to throw out that uh, it's nice to hear that Jason Taylor the second is going to be active. Uh, he's going to be activated off the IR, which means he'll be active on game day. So we'll see what ends up happening with him, but they did end up moving on from Zach Thomas. I don't know if he's going to be signed to the practice squad or not, but they did end up waving him to make room for Jason Taylor. The second, the safety out of this draft out of oh, um, Oklahoma state. So, We'll see what ends up happening. Quentin Lake is the only one that's genuinely ruled out uh, to this point. This is about as healthy as you're going to get week 12. So the Rams will take this, but will they take it to the bank? Will they start winning games? They won last week by the hair, their chinny chin chin, but will they win this week? Will they win next week? They got to start building these wins. They got to put these together. And so I think at the end of the day, uh, it all starts this weekend. We have to see what ends up happening with Kyron, what ends up happening with Cooper Cup, and hopefully Matthew Stafford and the Rams can put up some numbers 
get back to that winning streak and uh, start building something, you know, going into uh, going back to LA next week against Cleveland. So that's all I got for you guys. And again, quicker update, Cooper cup back, Kyron Williams back, Jason Taylor, the second back doesn't look like Daryl Henderson or anybody's being taken off the practice squad. So we'll see what ends up happening, but that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, folks. We start playing Pick'em or Weekly Fantasy for any sport today, Jake. Users will receive a 100% deposit match up to $100 if they use promo code OTE at sign up. Start playing Pick'em and Weekly Fantasy Football today with Underdog Fantasy. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.